Hey guys, Geno Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world you are in. Uh, time to start the garden. Um, we are just now getting around to uh, planting our tomatoes and peppers today. Weather has been uh, pretty wild here the past couple weeks, but it always is in April. So uh, we feel comfortable now that we're through with the cold nights and are going to start planting. Um, we've also been hearing through the grapevine and some of the internet weather dudes and old timers and everybody else is saying that it uh, is looking like it is going to be a hot, dry summer, uh, which is the growing season for us around here. So we've made a couple of decisions regarding our garden. Rather than and planting the three gardens that we normally plant, um, which is a lot of stuff here and there and everywhere, uh, we're just going to uh, concentrate on this garden and a potato patch down by the creek and grow, instead of growing a whole bunch of stuff, we're just going to grow uh, the, the very basic, uh, what we need for the, the main things that we use, uh, which is tomatoes and peppers and potatoes, and we'll have some okra plants, and uh, that's going to be just about it. We're going to try to have, instead of having 60... Um, tomato plants that are, that are you know that are doing mediocre we're going to try to have like 30 or 25 or so really good uh, quality pampered tomato plants uh, because we're going to be trying to catch as much rainwater uh, as we can but if it's not raining then water could be an issue for us we still have to keep all of the animals watered and we don't want to watch the garden wilt away and die away from the heat and from lack of water so we figured if we concentrated it down uh, and just grew a smaller garden that should use a lot less water and a lot less resources. The winter time wasn't that bad for us. We didn't have a really harsh winter, so uh, the pantry is still looking good from the winter time. We were able to get out to the store. We didn't spend as much money on energy and stuff like that as what we uh, as what we had a plan for. So we're good. We're in good shape coming out of the winter time, but a really hard, hot, dry summer could be just as devastating to the homestead as a really hard, harsh, long winter time. So what we've done is we, uh, we moved all the log splitting stuff out of the way. This is where we split our wood in the wintertime. That way all the little wood chips and the, the little punk wood and stuff falls into the garden area. We rake it out, smooth it out, dig up what few weeds there were growing in here. Uh, and then we got a string. We're going to start digging our holes to put our plants in. Uh, this is a string that Uncle Buck made for me. And uh, I think it's every 16 inches. He's got a little knot tied in it. So uh, like your pepper plants will be planted to every, every knot and your tomato plants will be planted to every other knot so that gives them plenty of room to grow. And uh, we've, uh, of course we put the uh, wood ashes from the heat exchanger, uh, the, the stuff in the compost pile, rabbit manure, and over here in the wheelbarrow we mixed up. That way when we start digging our holes, uh, we've got some peat moss and some ash and some little chicken manure and a little bit of rabbit manure, stuff like that that we mixed all together. We, we, we dig the holes. We'll dig a $5 hole for a $2 plant, if you know what I mean, and that way we can put some really good stuff in that is going to hold a lot of moisture and try to give these little plants a really good start before it starts getting dry and hot. So that's the plan. So now we're going to start digging our holes, and once we get everything dug and maybe the first row planted, then we'll, uh, we'll give you an update and, and get back with you. But the main thing is, uh, this video is why we decided to do a smaller garden. Rather than watching a couple of great big gardens die and wilt from the heat and not have enough water to water everything, we do have county water. We could water with the hose. I really don't like doing that because it costs money. We're already probably going to have to use that to keep the critters watered and uh, not to mention all the water and stuff that we use. Uh, so I really prefer to use rainwater on the garden if at all possible. But that's the reason, uh, the main reason for the video anyway, why we're doing what we're doing. So we're going to start uh, digging holes and planting plants and we'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right, uh, somebody's gonna ask what I mean by a $5 hole for a $2 plant. You can see the difference in size of the hole versus the plant. Uh, today, my post hole digger was my friend. So we dug these down, then we take these little plants out of the containers. I did not start these. I, uh, I worked off and on down uh, through the winter time at the greenhouse down the road, and I traded labor for garden plants. So I'm just gonna dig down, put my little plant in there, and then fill it in back in with our mixture of dirt that we had. Give it a good packing as it goes through. And that is one happy little planted tomato plant that's got a lot of good stuff all the way around it. 
to help it get a good healthy start uh, to make a good solid plant. So that's what I mean uh, by a $5 hole for a $2 plant. A big hole, that way it's got nice good nutrients. And I will give this plant a nice good drink of water. Soak the roots down real good and it should be off and running. So we're going to get everything else planted here and we're going to get some peppers planted and we'll get back with you guys and show you everything when we're done. Well there you have it. There's our start of our garden. We got 32 tomato plants and 12 pepper plants in and going and happy and healthy. I am by no means an expert gardenologist or a, any of that kind of horn, horn um, culturalist or whatever it is that they call them. Just a dude, right? Just a regular old dude. And this is what I'm doing. This place where we're gardening uh, we did not have good dirt at all in it. We started it two years ago and it was clay and sand. And over the last couple of years, we keep adding wood chips and wood ash and chicken manure and rabbit manure and wood chips and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we're going to make our own dirt here. And hopefully this year will be a little bit better than last year. And next year will be better than this year. So we'll keep them going. We'll keep you guys posted throughout the course of the year. We'll get our okra in and whatever other, other things that we decide we're going to plant small. And uh, see how the, uh, the summer grow season goes for us. So wish us luck. I hope this helps. Like I say, in this case today, my post hole digger was my friend because we dug the holes big uh, rather than small holes. And we filled them in with the dirt. And the leftover dirt that we have, we'll just spread it on top and uh, keep building up on making our own dirt here. So you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck to everybody who's going to be planting the garden. Hopefully we have a good season. God bless. Man. Buzz, buzz, the end.